You know, to say I'm an avid boater angler would be an understatement. I mean, I fish so much, whether it's back up north in Canada or here in Florida when we go out in the Gulf of Mexico or fish on the flats. And I gotta be honest with you, I've got one pet peeve when it comes to boating. When I get to a dock, especially one that I'm not familiar with, and back home it's like the upper Niagara River in Fort Erie, or even the lower Niagara River down in Queenston, or some of the docks that we go to up north, there's no eye bolts on the dock. So when I pull the boat over, and if there are eye bolts, they're like 10 yards apart. So whether I have my G3, I have my Sea Breeze, or my Pro Sports, I can't get the lines on eye bolts and get them to the cleats of the boat. But there's a really interesting solution that a friend of mine, Roland, came up with, and they're called Easy Docker. And I'm gonna show you how they work. The Easy Dockers are very simple devices that uh, you can just take with you the way I'm holding them in my hands or the way I have them rigged in the boat. I actually put the rope on the eye bolts and keep the rope links in the actual boat underneath my seat. So whenever I come to a dock, I can clip these on and then just hold on to the rope and tie the boat down even for when I'm by myself. Now, what's interesting about these is the way they're designed. There's a quarter inch and a three eighth inch model. You can, these are designed to go in between the slats that are on the dock. Now you'll see that they have like a big washer here, small washer there, and uh, there's a spring. So you can actually depress it. So you don't have to pull that spring back. All you do is take the Easy Docker, put it in between the slats, push down, turn it, and it locks. What I like is this modification that they've made that you can see the metal isn't flat. It actually points up a little bit. Yeah, I'll hold it this way, points up a little bit. That means that it's gonna grab the wood underneath. So let me show you how it works. For example, right here in Florida, you can see I actually put these uh, slats into the dock and they're about a quarter inch wide. They're kind of tight. So here's what you do. You take your Easy Docker, you slide it in between, this is the quarter inch, push down, turn it, and it locks. So it locks that even if there's pressure, if the wind pulls on it or there's wave action, there's no way it's gonna release. So it's a really smart system. When you wanna remove it, you just turn it so that the metal is parallel and you pull it out. Is that easy or what? You know, Easy Docker are really smart to have in the boat. No matter where you travel, you can tuck them away. They're not heavy. They're resistance against thrust. They're galvanized and they're treated. And they're really good accessories to have no matter where you're going to be docking. So I always carry them in both sizes because I don't know what kind of a dock system I'm going to be dealing with. And I don't even have to get out of the boat, jump out of the boat. All I got to do is get close, just push them in, turn them, let them lock, put my ropes on, and I'm ready to do whatever I need to. Refuel or take a break or pack it in for the night.